Servus, it's me again, Freddy Mercury. I did play the... I did try this game earlier. It went miserably because somebody just created a faction and everybody joined that one faction. Instead, I will do this again today now. I mean, it's still now. Change in course. Basic research and one thing that's cool about the UK, we do get more research, better research, base. We have a better base tech tree. T tech tree? I've been playing too much CK, CK, Age of Empires 2. What is wrong with you? A request from Ethiopia. That at least means they're not gonna go for the African Union, which is just annoying because 50 new tags spawn just because Ethiopia says so. Yeah, I'm just gonna refuse the Ethiopian request because we have no business with this. We shall make concessions to the trade unions, which is super cool because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you would ever go for communist UK. Like, I tried looking at it and it's just depressing. What is it with Hearts of Iron and not being able to make fun communist focuses? With all due respect, they are all just sad. Just like communism was in real life. Montreal Convention, we're just gonna back Turkey, get five Navy XP. Worst thing that's gonna happen is the Soviets declare on Turkey. How? I just don't get it, man. Tokuda and Adenauer, they, these two are my sleep paralysis demons. <sighs> Not again. Ooh. We shall produce a few more of those infantry divisions because they are of the perfect size. They contain 9.6k divisions if you have ever played one of the ahistorical paths as the UK. 9.6k is a very important number. Just go for the fascist branch. If you go with Mosley, you get the exact same thing that you get as the UK, as the British party, as the communists, but you are just stronger. You don't have to worry about decolonization. Oh, okay, third time that I'm gonna... Like, I mean, just, just look at this. You get nothing here. Like, you get a 10% factory output and dockyard output. Ethiopia declared war on the Ethiopian Empire. I've never seen this path. Young officer coup. Okay, that's also a lot more interesting than nothing. We shall reinforce the empire. Oh, we lost Austro-Hungary. Once again, FOW, just so you cannot mess my day up. You've already messed my day up enough today. Uh, it's an interesting empire. Thank you. Was that so hard? It's got a smart of the Kaiser's mustache. With this bad boy that I've grown, I think I would fit in right with the German military staff. Granted, I'm about 60 years too young. That's probably it for Ethiopia. We also have Estonia. Why are the Baltics so incompetent? They always go for the puppet Soviet path. Granted, if you're not doing that, I don't think the AI is smart enough to not do it and survive. Polish Peasant Union. Also very cool because they can either become democratic or communist. So we have a bunch of democratic communists in this game. There you go. Chamberlain is here, but nothing to worry about. He doesn't have to appease anybody this game. First of all, because I'm gonna shoot him. Second of all, because Germany is just gonna go through a little phase. Limit intervention which does mean you cannot okay goodbye america you want to limited intervene i will not have this limited intervention since we are playing as the union of britain we do have to worry about this stuff we're gonna secure canada and that's it because it's just annoying you have to send divisions to specific provinces and while well, you can use the infantry division as it has the perfect amount of manpower for it it's very tedious and we also don't have the pp for it it's just not fun United States objects to Canadian communism. You shall, you, you, you shall try, try me. Czechoslovakia is You went with the German puppet path. I am a little bit worried about our communist Italy. We might not see it this game. There we go, communism in Canada. We will exile the royal family and we'll probably send them to Canada. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Soviet opposition requests support. Soviet opposition! 50 rifles? <laughs> I guess 200. What are you gonna do with 200 rifles? I'm sorry. <laughs> I gave you 200! <laughs> ISP, what is this? That's your base and that's what you recruited? I gave you 200 guns. I want my 200 guns back, honestly. There we go, Australia, New Zealand. 
South Africa and India is gonna explode as well. France looks like a fun time right now. Strikes, inefficient economy, political violence, full employment. Everybody is having a grand old time over there. And those divisions can I'm go so over here. They can defend the this front exists. line. Would be better if we had horses, but alas, we cannot choose our allies. Boom, boom. Want you in my room. You and me together. Trotsky has made a call for volunteers. This should be encouraged. This must be stopped. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't have manpower right now. So I'll take the communist dip. Oh, America, you're not going to do anything this game anyway. So we might as well end your suffering. Now, if I had a horse, definitely would be quicker. But we're all out of horses today. Where are my... I retract previous statement. That's exactly where I wanted you to be. As always, when you're early warring the US. Snake. Snake is the name of the man. The guy who's not Norman Reedus. Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia. Oh, that's a name. That's a name I can't get behind. God, I'm being so annoying. <laughs> I'm being a little rat. Mutinies in the army. Yeah, that sucks. We have to hold a patriotic speech, but we might as well... I'm gonna wait and then do some war propaganda before we do that. If we get one collaboration government on the US, that's fine by me. There we go, we can send them to Canada, even though I don't think they really want the royal family either. What the? That's a nice flag. And I'll just snipe VPs, just so we can get out of the war and into a peaceful life in Europe. Because we have not been looking at the continent for a long time, which I suppose is rather British. Lazaro Cardenas demands our withdrawal from the Caribbean. Uh, no? Ooh, Switzerland! Switzerland got angry and hungry. Latvia and Estonia are almost sharing the same color, but thankfully one of those guys has a washing machine. They got war in the US. That's not very cash money. Also, I don't care about you, Turkey. I should still be able to get everything. Yeah, they have zero points. In 70 days, the true union of Britain will appear. That might screw us over. How long do we have before we explode? 40 days. Well, this is gonna suck. Japanese shogunate joined the German Empire. Japanese shogunate declared war on the Soviet Union. Okay, so the civil war will end. Got the, they got their old focus tree back, that's cool. Traitors, the Union of Britain versus the true Union of Britain. Both with the same flag, but one with a different man. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Do I just keep this piece of Mexico now? Because I'm not at war with Mexico. The Drew Union of Britain is, but I'm not. I don't think we can really defend here, but we have to try. Where's my mighty Air Force? I don't have manpower. Oh my God, everything is burning. Uh, granted, I don't control any piece of the UK right now, so it makes sense that it would have manpower. We can join the Mexicans. Would that give them their land back? Well, I have no business with Greece. Greece? Mexico. There we go, we shoot a bunch of people and we get eight factories for some reason. I don't really know how that works. One thing that's uh, a thing in this focus tree, if Russia is not communist, you can't do anything with it. You can't really do anything anyway. But like, for example, you can't follow Moscow. If they're not communist, you can't do this path. The Union of Soviet Republics is not communist. You can't do this path and you cannot declare war on them if they are not communist. You can only bypass this one if you're at war with, the, with Russia. Very cool focus tree. I don't know why Paradox has so much trouble with communist focus trees. They're all just horrible. Okay, we have Canada now. We have the US and we lost a bunch of our compliance. The civil war is over. We can now focus on the main continent. The German Empire Congress. You have to be very fickle to name your own faction after yourself. Switzerland declared war on Italy. That can be very interesting. Oh, that's a big boy. They might be able to defeat Italy. Italy has been weakened by the civil war. And then if they win, they will also get Italy as a puppet. Well, this is looking like a repeat. China is joining Germany now. What is it with Germany every single time just building a block? Why did you, how did you join me? I didn't invite you. I don't get this game sometimes. They just joined my faction, even though the People's Republic, which is communist apparently, they should be on my side. Oh, what the, no warning whatsoever. I don't really want India to exist though. I want to annex them. Long Yun! Oh, the Long Yun is in charge of Yunnan now. And pretty much all of China. That is a Chinese civil war if I've ever seen one. Qing China joined the fourth international. The what now? Greece, I shall join your war. Oh, is it time? Is it time for some schliefening? Ecuador? Is guaranteed? <laughs> you want to go to war with me? Ah, that was probably caused by the gentleman that looks just like me. I mean, just look at that. Could be my long lost twin brother. He probably just caused a little bit of communist influence and an Ecuador civil war and then they invited Uruguay. Don't know why. That bit I'm a little bit confused on. We cannot invite France. 
because they don't like us. I suppose Germany's forces are so split up right now, they can't deal with France. I shall not even press the cheat button. I do not need the cheat button for Spain. Micro a little bit here, as always. I do like the Spanish units, though. Spain might be absolute trash in this game to play, but the Spanish units, they are cool. Ecuador is at war with us now, so we shall also invite Ecuador. Belgium joined the Baltic Brotherhood. So did France. Honestly, this war is... <laughs> it's a lot more interesting than ahistorical. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yes, a historical. The game where Adolf Hitler declares war on Poland. Uh, Mussolini has been assassinated and replaced with Mr. Generisch? But why? Why was Mussolini shot? Oh, uh, that looks like Russia is gone. Yes, it's almost gone. And Marco Porro is also the pro deposed. No, he's not. <laughs> he just got shot and replaced by his twin brother, Marco Porro. Is that a Japanese name for the Marco Polo? Marco Polo? Ah, fuck, I forgot about Italy. It's a very weird historical game, honestly. Like, we're still fighting against Japan and Germany. I do have America, which is not allowed to meet up with France. Although France is also at war with Germany. And Russia is also fought Germany. It's really just historical in a different color. Not even flavor, just a different color. Germany, Germany. I don't think you need to announce an anti-Soviet pact at this point. You're at war with the Union of Britain. Britain, you have defeated the Soviets. Uh, actually, not with Communist China, so yeah, that's fine by me. China is my favorite. Uh. <laughs> that's the third China. This piece of Chinese history is even more confusing than our history of Chinese Civil War, World War II thing. We can also just go for a closed economy at this point, honestly. Australia, I hardly knew her. <laughs> What's going on in Italy, man? Communist China? <laughs> Oh, these are dark times. Switzerland is gone, which immediately puts France into a very weird spot. France? Oh, uh, okay, wait a minute. Go back to Tobruk, get out of there. There we go. Now you can take a look at Cat. Such a good boy. We do have 20 points. I don't think we can take anything. Oh God, France is gone. <sighs> Merlin. <laughs> we have to take out Ecuador, Australia, pretty much everybody. This is gonna be a very fun conquest. So, Herr Kaiser, ich habe schlechte Nachrichten für Sie. Sie haben ein bisschen Scheiße gebaut, könnte man so sagen, ne? Those planes are now shredding. Because we already have air superiority, we might as well get our cars out. This is gonna feel good now. Oh, how wrong I was. Because we just have to mash through every single country in this world. Except for Mexico. They were once our enemies and now are our allies. Dutch are gone. They capped to Venezuela? Why? I suppose we can join Mexico now. Yeah, we are finally seeing our mistakes. Congratulations, you are an idiot. You're now at war with the entire world. I'm gonna join your war, even though I'm already in this war. Great, I can't take over the faction. Marco Porro is deposed again. And look at that, he's still here. Oh, actually we can potentially do something here. We are also out of this war, which does mean we are in every war, which does mean we can take over the faction. At this point, this is a world war. Even South America got involved. 2% recruitable pop for 10% stab. Ooh. Yo, the Germans, they really like grinding me. Oh, yeah, they really like that comment. 5 million for 1 million. <laughs> 7 million. Uh, some of those divisions don't have any equipment anymore. We did it. We're attacking. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Please. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Oh, supply. I'm actually gonna auto all of this now. I don't wanna bother with Australia. Armor train, they have a little bit of air attack. That's gonna be very useful here as well. Germany is still trying it. 8 million versus 1 mil. Does it mean they just lost 2 million versus like 20k? Something must have happened to. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I kind of put it too much trust in Mexico. <laughs> I can't give up America. So goodbye Australia. We are gonna go back. Would have liked to take out Australia, but this is much more important. Okay, uh, let's just make an auto push. That's a lot of green. I just want to auto push for a little bit, get a bit more land and such, you know. Uh, but it looks like Germany. That's it for Germany. Oh, oh I God. agree, sir. I never liked stability anyway. Scraping the barrel. Okay, so it can't take that much longer. 
13 million Germans. That's all because of Czechoslovakia, man. If they didn't give up the Sudetenland, none of this would have happened. God, that one German division really just gave me a heart attack. But it's just a man. Spain declared war. Welcome to the fourth international. <laughs> Seriously, all of South America is in the war now, except for Peru. And Free France, my favorite South American nation. And full frontal assault from Germany. Desperate attack after you just realized that you're unscraping the barrel and don't have manpower anymore. They might start deleting divisions now. Also unscraping the barrel. <laughs> I didn't even realize Spain was here. <gasps> adaptable, yeah. Oh, adaptable, yes. Okay, let's just make a push here. And the mountains, yeah, of course. It's gonna suck. Those Italian divisions also don't look too fresh. There we go. Surprise attack from behind into Berlin. There we go, we also... I love that! I love that! The way you just didn't send me a notification here. Oh, we can definitely take Berlin. There's not a lot of Germans left here. 308 divisions. That's honestly not a lot for the AI, that's not a lot. And for Germany, for the German AI, that is pathetically little. Usually they should have like 1000 divisions at this point. Seriously, what, what has the German AI done? I can't find the divisions anywhere. Ah, there's another division stack. Take this, take this, take this. Take this, take this. There we go. Yes, there's a lot of Germans here. A lot of Germans that should be in Germany right now. That's your capital? Not even Königsberg? Oh, that German Empire is gone. That was also 100. 100 divisions, if not more. Oh, God, this is gonna take ages. Oh, God, I don't have troops up here. I don't have troops anywhere. Can you stop just... R what? <laughs> what the fuck, man? We might be able to take out Italy now. Because there's nobody here. Honestly, try it, yeah. Italy is gone. We don't get them as a puppet because they already had a puppet war. We have freed Portugal again. Oh no, that's the other Italy. Well, I suppose this also works for me. Now we just have four front lines for the same front line. Well, fuck you too. Returning, uh, taking your expeditionary forces. Bang! Actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Copium, copium, copium. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's just single pieces of land that they are retaking everywhere. Screw you, Spain. Welcome back, Portugal. Please do something. Also, Japan still hasn't taken out Australia. Okay. No, <laughs> Italy is freed again. <laughs> and there's another stupid Austria pocket. That was such a misclick. Oh my god. <laughs> to retaking Spain again. I literally can't even. I promise I'm gonna use garrison divisions in every game from now on, even as a minor. Please just forgive me. Another stack, move out. Right now, Poland, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Japan, Italy. And then like, we we're pretty much done with the war. 20 million Germans. 20 million Germans, this is three million from my side. 54 million of the central powers. I will legitimately have to start making garrison divisions. They broke through again. Have I ever mentioned that I hate impassable terrain in the Alps? Hearts of Wine has broken me. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna start making garrison divisions. Another invasion? Where is it? There's another one here. Damn it, man. It's just a constant cycle of taking, losing and retaking. I think it's also time to bust out the bad boys. What are you gonna do when they come for you? It just doesn't stop, man. Boom, deployed 100 divisions. Sucks, but it has to be done. Every single tile that exists in this game is gonna be turned into a garrison. I wanna hear the naval invasion sound a single time once I'm done with this game. I'm actually starting to tilt a little bit. Apparently, the population of Germany at the start of World War II was about 70 million. That means, since women are not allowed to fight in Hearts of Iron, because, uh, yeah, it's a man's job. Fuck, they are pushing everywhere. That means... There's only children and women left in Germany. And they still have 300 divisions. I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to do here. It's just there's way too many enemy troops for what we have. We're gonna win every single battle, but 60 million enemies. I don't think we can win the war. Why do I have suppressed mafia decisions? Honestly, this feels like fucking NC. Okay, the tanks. I'm gonna let them do a small push here. 
Yep, we finally ran out of infantry equipment and support equipment. We can't fix that though. You lot, just slowly retreat. Honestly, just slowly retreat. I still don't know why there's so many of the garrison divisions here, man. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I expected. We don't have the production anymore for our air force. No, everything was just got decimated. Ah, you're doing it again. We killed 61 million enemy division, enemies. And there's no end in sight. It's like 29 degrees in here. We still have... Just, the big problem is just we can't piece anybody out. It's 1949. I would love to continue playing this. For as painful as it is, it's also just fun too. Because it's like every single encirclement just feels like it brings me closer, but it doesn't. How do you even have manpower? Four million men? Just look at this, there's still like 20 divisions here and then here everywhere there's just one or two divisions per tile. Honestly, this is probably inspiration for Orwell's 1984. We don't even know why we're at war anymore and who we are at war with anymore. We're just at war. If I used garrison divisions offensively here then this probably wouldn't have happened. But as it stands, 65 million, it's 1950. We did take out 34 thousand enemy planes. Mom? Oh fuck, that's the wrong reference, right?